Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within. And in today's 70th day, 17th day of a godly person, Supreme God Father wants something in return for all that He's given us in our life. Whether it's love, whether it's happiness, whether it's contentment, whether it's peace, whatsoever He's bestowing upon us, He says, I want something in return for that. Now what can God or the Creator of the whole world want from us? When we say the creator of the whole world, it doesn't mean that he was sitting down one day and creating the earth. It means that he is the creator of the drama of our souls on this earth. So, what can he want in return from us? Let's explore that over here. Baba says in the heading, may you be truly loving and so equal and turn yourself in return for love let's get into the explanation part the father has deep love for the children and this is why he cannot bear to see any weakness in those he loves same goes for physical parents they also don't like to see any weakness in the children that's why they try to teach the children and try to improve their life right the father wishes to see his children complete and perfect like himself complete and perfect like himself not in the financial way not in the way you look but in the way we think pure in the way we have divine virtues divine qualities just like him divine powers of the mind of the intellect not the physical powers so God says the father wishes to see his children complete and perfect like himself Similarly, you children say, what can we give Baba in return for that love? Because Godfather gives us the knowledge of how to stabilize the mind, how to think peaceful, how to get love and happiness in our mind again, which we are lacking and which we feel empty about even after having the wealth which we have around us in our life. We still feel empty. That emptiness is coming because we lack virtues, we lack values, we lack the powers of a soul. So then Baba says... The father wants your children to, re to turn yourself in return for love. So, what kind of turning is he talking about? Out of love, renounce your weaknesses. So, weaknesses is what he wants us to turn. Because in Kalyuk, by taking many births, we souls have diminished power. We souls have diminished values and virtues. The world is not using any virtues today. Very few people are using honesty. Very few people are using tolerance. Very few people are using patience so god wants us to turn that negative side of us into the positive side of us which we have within us but we are not using it so god says devotees are prepared to cut off their heads out of love there was something known as kashi kalvat that was in kashi vishwanath which we call it as banaras today so in that place in kashi there used to be a well and there used to be a sharp knife and many devotees who were extreme into devotion used to think that if I lay down my life, I drop myself, my body into this well and if this physical body's head gets cut, then I'll be gone into liberation. I'll be mukt or I'll be liberated from all the troubles of life. But God says that is what worshippers used to do, extreme worshippers. But I don't want you to do that. So God, what does God want us to do? He says, you don't have to cut off your physical head. But you have to cut off Ravan's head. Now what is Ravan? We have generally heard so many things about Ravan. But Ravan, Satan, Shaitan are one and the same thing. It's not about a physical being with ten heads. Well, what do the ten heads mean? Every soul has got lust, anger, greed ego attachment whether that soul is in a male body or whether that soul is in a female body so five heads lust anger greed ego attachment in a soul in a male body and lust anger greed ego attachment in a soul in a female body so that makes it ten heads so you can be a soul with those five heads within you that means you could have thoughts of lust anger, greed, ego, attachment, any moment 
And what do you become like? You become like Ravan. So God says, turn those heads down. Cut those heads off. Cut off lustful thoughts. Cut off anger thoughts. Cut off angry thoughts. Cut off egoistic thoughts. Cut off jealousy. Cut off attachment. Cut off all those negative way of thinkings. And then you'll be winning over Ravan. And God says, that is what I want you to do. Remove those weaknesses so that you give me a proof for the love, for the things which I do for you. That is what God wants from us in return. He doesn't want anything from this physical world. The one who's the Lord of all the worlds, why would he want anything in return from us, from this physical world? So how do we do that? What is that method of Raj Yuga meditation through which we can over a period of time overcome all these negative traits within us you can come and learn it at the Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University in your own city so with this I'm Shanti Music